Hey everybody, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a brief look at Game Booster 3 Beta 2.0. The fun thing about betas if you haven't used them is it gives you an opportunity to take a look at the next generation software. In this case, IOBits betas are pretty stable. I believe most of this is based on the Game Booster 2. I've had no issues with it yet. Uh, but you can experience crashes, blue screens, memory leaks to slow your computer down, which would <laughs> kind of be the opposite of what Game Booster is supposed to do. But again, these are just there's just a small possibility this could happen. If it causes you problems, you can always uninstall it. So playing with betas are a lot of fun. I hope you give this one a look. Um, basically, you've got a few tabs up here. The new Game Booster 3 layout is very, very simple. You have your boost, your diagnose, and your tools. So real, real quick, we're going to just hit the start boost. You're looking at eh, 3 to 10 seconds, depending on the speed of your machine to boost it and you're going to get the specs you can see just like uh, version 2 it will minimize the tray in seven seconds uh, you can hit cancel and you can take the opportunity to take a look at all the different things that stopped just in case there's something that stopped that you don't want to stop you can configure it later a simple click of the restore and again about the same amount of time and you're back to where you were switching the game box we showed you this on two this allows you to drag your favorite games and just one click run them uh, world of warcraft is probably five six seven gig folder so that's where the tools will come in handy you have your defrag we're gonna bounce around a little bit here and that allow you to defragment the drive it's in which is always a great idea especially if you run it on a different drive uh, it also has some tweaks in there it's not an all-in-one tweak utility but it does address some well-known problems that could speed up your machine I'm gonna give it an optimize I haven't run it yet and oh, I'm already in top performance bonus and let's switch over to drivers, which is nice. As you can see, my Realtek LAN card is out of date. A simple click of the download will bring you to where you can download the latest updated drivers. With games, as you well know, you want your latest video drivers, you want your latest sound drivers, motherboard drivers for the best performance. That about covers everything that you need here with the tools, so we'll swap back to Diagnose. I'd already run this before. It only takes... I've got a pretty fast machine, but it probably takes... 10, 15, 20 seconds to run. Now what you have here is a big long file that looks at your system and analyzes it. You get the opportunity to copy it, send it to somebody, export it as a text file, or upload. By clicking upload, you'll go to the Game Booster forums where you can upload, let people look at your machine, and hopefully address some problems you might have that are slowing your computer down. And of course, there's the forums link here, which you can get at. And as I mentioned, don't forget the tools. You can come in here, go to your settings, and determine how everything works from starting with Windows Startup, that little minimize the tray that I showed you, advanced. And basically, you can just go in here and just play with all the stuff that I showed you and how you want it to work for you. Okay? So let's switch back to the main screen here. And that pretty much covers everything. I just wanted to address one thing that was asked on the other forums quite a bit. People are asking me, will it boost this game? Will it boost that game? The answer is, in short, yes. It's not really boosting your game. It's boosting your Windows performance by disabling stuff that you don't necessarily need while gaming. So it should work with any game. As a matter of fact, for the most part, if you were doing some video or graphic editing, you could probably run Game Booster to temporarily tweak your machine. Uh, it would be a great time to run this right now while I'm doing a video. I'm recording a video, I'm running the program, I'm going to tweak it later, and, and I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to upload it. It would be nice to just free up some resources while I was doing this video so I don't have to worry about crashes or running slow, etc. I hope that answers that question. I hope you give Game Booster 3 Beta a try. I think you'll dig it, and we'll see you next time.